I, I want you to see this. So this is uh, uh, make the video bigger. So this is a guy. It doesn't matter because you're not going to see his face. This guy Neil Shen is a first. Go to his Wikipedia. Who Neil Shen is? He's a four billion dollar guy, and Neil Shen is being interviewed here by go to his Wikipedia. He sits on Sequoia. Yep. Go to right there. Zoom in to his uh, profile. Neil Shen is a member of the tent. CPPCC National Committee, Vice President of Professional Committee of Venture Capital Fund of Asset Management, Association of China, member of Hong Kong, uh, SAR, Chief Executive Advisory Panel of Manchester. Da, 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 da. Anyways, C- he's connected. with Sequoia. Mm-hmm. He's a very connected guy, yeah. and he's a $4 billion guy. Now watch this interviewer asks a very basic question, but watch how he defines AI and why China's better than us in AI. I just want to get your reaction on this. Go for it. So it's a minute and a half clip. In fact, fundamentally, what is AI in the whole science field? It's mathematics and statistics. And China has very strong talent in these two areas. You, you've got a smile on your face as if to say, yeah, well, we can do that. I'm an I'm applied math major when I was undergrad in China. And there are many of my talented uh, you know, alums and colleagues. I'm pretty sure they could do well so you've, on that. So you've got the talent and you've got the data. Is the environment for getting hold of that data easier in, in China? Is the regulatory environment, does that make life easier? Because in, in Europe, for example, we have quite strict rules about privacy and, and so forth. Well, I think privacy and protections is always a issue, whether it's in UK or whether in US or whether in China. I think there are different sectors uh, in China have Watch different this. regulations. It's coming right I here. do think those regulations are very important and relevant. But in general, I think there is just more data point. But there is surely a, a danger that AI can be used as a tool of suppression a, a, and surveillance. And I'm going to stick my neck out here and say in an authoritarian country such as China, does that worry you at all? I don't think so. Watch Why this. Not? Can you just engage with the question a, a bit? Because it is clearly, you know, to say that we collect data everywhere, but you are not prepared to talk about that? I mean, it could make the censorship of the internet the much easier, couldn't it? No. Silence. I mean, is it broadly true, Mr. Shen, that you just don't want to talk about the implications for a more authoritarian society? Awkward. It does leave a little bit of a hole around that. Well, Still not we'll, we'll move on. Um, so he went from very talkative to silent. Silent. Yeah, when they asked him about authority. Have to go off script there. Yeah. There you go. I agree with. Or you. ruffle a little bit of feathers. Well, you know what he's saying. No, no. I think it's what he's saying. Go off script. And yeah. off script is. It's a question that wasn't yeah. scripted. That sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. But He'd he's right to, that the AI <laughs> can process information manifold faster than any other kind of way you would ever analyze information. And yeah, you can do whatever you wanted with it. You can suppress, you can enhance, you can cause people to get elected or not elected by influencing what they see, what they think, what they feel. And so, yeah, that's a possible future of AI in the hands of people who are nefarious in their intent. That's the part about AI that... that uh yeah, you know, sometimes, like we were talking about it earlier, like, so what are you worried about? What do you think is going to happen with this? Data? You know, we're like, all we're thinking about is, oh, my God, we may lose our jobs, right? I mean, that's the <laughs> original. It was like, ah, no. The real that's part not your of- biggest problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's not your biggest problem. Because if the enemy, like China, knows how to use AI, they can completely reshape the way of thinking for your nation. By the way, by the way, China has a minister of AI. The United Arab Emirates has a minister wow. of AI. Rob, can you pull this up? So these, these would, this is our equivalent of a, a cabinet member. Yeah, we do yeah. not have a minister of AI. Why do we not have one? This is America. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Man. Yeah, no, I mean, it's uh, if you visit other countries, they see, know, and care about the future of AI on a level. Now, of course, the military has an AI group that are thinking deeply about how that would be invoked. Uh, on my uh, board, we put, uh, because AI would come under the innovation umbrella, uh, and our board, we put uh, parameters about how the military would ever use AI in, a dis- in what would be a lethal decision. 
and what kind of, should there be a human in the loop? The AI would not be making that decision autonomously. So we put in a, a system of ethics related to it. So with so it's not like no one in our government is thinking about it, but imagine if there was a, a, a cabinet post, a, a, a secretary of AI. That would change people's awareness of its value to the governance of this nation and what it might be doing in other nations. But we haven't, and we're not. We're arguing about whether humans are warming the earth, okay? This is what's going on in America. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I laughed at him. Yes, okay. Wouldn't be the first or last, Neil deGrasse. Uh, very, 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 very interesting what you just said, though. Very right. interesting what you just said. So, so you're saying if we have, if we had to uh, create a priority of what to study, as a nation to create security and safety for its people, you're, you're saying the, the climate change wouldn't be in your top five. You, you would put AI, it sounds like you're saying AI studying something of the space. No, 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 I, I wouldn't rank them, I just do them all. You don't have to rank things. But you got to kind of budget. Like, you know how you said one time, you know, our budget for space is 0.4% of 1%, which is, let me break this. Remember the one you broke yeah, that? Mm -hmm. I thought I was like, the, so out of yeah. the whatever budget, we got 0.4% of every dollar yeah. it's, is spent. If you, if you cut it's a dollar bill, yeah, 0.4% of it doesn't even get you into the ink. Mm. It's just the mm. edge, the border. Of You're the on the edge. edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so all, it, a form of where we put our money is a form of saying what's the priority. Yes, of course. But uh, I'm just saying I don't need to put it in one place and not another place if you can put it in both places. Well, That's if all. you could put more resources in one place, what would it be? If you could put in this more, country right now? Yeah, yeah. Um, on sources of energy that are renewable, which would include fusion, nuclear fusion, as we had the ignition test wow. uh, just a couple of weeks ago successful at the Lawrence Livermore Labs. That's a basically clean energy. We just have to figure out how to contain it and throttle it and use it in ways we need. So that I, I would do that. Uh, I would also consider turning the solar system into our backyard because rare earth elements, for example, that are causing some geopolitical uh, tension and conflict, access to them for all of our modern day electronics. There are asteroids that have nothing but rare earth elements in them. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're common asteroid elements. <laughs> So the asteroids have pre-sifted these ingredients out there in space when they all formed. And so, uh, yeah, there's the breakthrough you have up there on the, on the chart. So, so yeah, I, I would do that because that has a much longer value time to civilization than anything else we're debating wow. today. And I'd throw in, uh, I, I, I'd redouble, I'd double down on whether quantum entanglement can matter in any important way. And quantum computing, for sure. Quantum entanglement? Is that something Jada Pinkett knows? What, what, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of... In Will Smith. I thought you said entanglement. What is quantum entanglement? Yeah, quantum entanglement. It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's you have two particles created together, then you separate them, and you make a measurement on one that instantaneously hmm. manifests in the other. At faster than the speed of light. So it's very spooky action at a distance. Quantum entanglement. Is yeah, it's, so it's a frontier of quantum physics, and it will be exploited in quantum computing. Oof. So I would say quantum computing, these are frontiers that can transform how we live and what we do. Hmm. 